I love researching everything. So after I read about Standings Butchery, my expectations were high as I walked into this unassuming shop on Melrose Avenue in Los Angeles. I have a special place in my heart for artisan butchers, and Jared Standings, founder and owner of Standings Butchery, he stands out. When did you have this calling? Uh, and I learned about people who are doing things the right way, where we can still eat meat and feel good about it, um, doing good for the environment, for the animals themselves, and, and eat a diet that I think is appropriate for most people. Yes. Um, and then decided to get involved in being part of that change. So much thought and so much care went into raising that animal. Um, we're very picky about what slaughterhouse they can go through before oh, they get to here. It would be such a tragedy for us to then just like slap the fish, pack it up and throw it out uh, and waste some of it. Would you say like you're you're living your dream job? Uh, oh yeah, a million percent. Everybody who walks in here had to have sought this out. It's, convenience isn't a factor. It's not easy to find us. You had to be looking. So you're coming in and you're voting with your dollar. And I wanted to ask you, First of all, how old were you when you got your first tattoo? Uh, 19. 19? Yeah. And did you just, that was it? You kicked in and you were, you loved it and you were, I, I gotta get more. This I, might come back to the obsessive. If I wanted to impress someone and make them the most spectacular dinner yeah. with me, yeah. what would you recommend? If you slow braised like a beef shank and it had that little bit of marrow in the middle and the rest of it was just fall apart tender and it had this really great like reduction that you made to like drizzle over it that'd be way more impressive i think what's your favorite dish the first thing that came to mind was just cheeseburgers it's good okay that's great <laughs> yeah and, and you guys specialize in burgers here totally and it's hybrid low brow like we're using very good hand-picked very expensive meat to make a fast food style burger. Well, I'm, I'm gonna have to get some burgers to go. Yeah, someday, okay, someday exactly. it'll be allowed again that we can cook them and serve yeah. them to people. But, uh, I'll be back when that happens. So, one of the things that stood out to me the most about spending time with Jared Standings is his empathy for animals and the way that they're treated to be a completely different butcher than most. And it doesn't just end with the animal. This guy loves people and he's a people person. He loves talking to them. He wants them to be happy. He wants them to have the best experience possible. This guy really cares about what he does. He lives for it. It's his passion. If you can get a chance to get over to his place, I think you're gonna have a great experience. Tonight, I am making the burgers from standings. I can't wait, I'm so excited. We're spreading the love to all of you. Because who's better than you?